What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another replay cast. We've got Rain over here in the top right hand corner versus Hero. Rain, I don't think he's been playing much ladder recently. This is actually a game from last year, 2023. We're going to be checking out today. Hero, he's been just so consistent, so amazing in the KCM recently. I can't help but just want to see more of this guy. I want to see more of his replays. And it looks like we're starting off with a nine pool here. Kind of a, a bit of an insane play, actually, against someone like Rain. He's going to go for that nine pool, gas trick out an extra drone, and get his hatchery here on location. Rain, of course, always a pleasure to watch his game. I think in 2003. It was a little bit more well practiced. It's it's really hit or miss with Rain, it seems. Although he is a lot of fun to watch uh, when he's at his peak. Sometimes he can be, you know, a little bit um, a little bit off his game and a little bit disappointing to watch occasionally. We'll see if this is one of those games. But I'm hoping that we get to see the the big Rain. We get to see the Rain. on one of those good days you know heavy rain not just that light little smattering not uh not a sprinkle here i want to see a downpour all right a third base gonna be taken by hero this is actually the natural it to throw it down at the third he's built six links he's sending them straight across the map but two cannons have already been thrown down rain has got the scout and unfortunately he did last scout but this is Vermeer, so even with the last scout, there's enough time with a little bit of delaying here from the probe to make both of these cannons, and he should be fine. Might have been able to run by there, but with the probes being pulled to the ramp, not going to be a good idea, so just going to keep these links alive here. Ooh, little mistake from Hero. It sucks to take damage on this Overlord. This is actually not too bad. It should heal up for the most part, but it does suck to take damage on that because when the Corsair comes out, it'll finish it off that much quicker, and then it'll be sent straight across the map immediately after uh, to try and get more damage. So, you know, taking any damage on this first Overlord is a tad bit painful, a wee bit painful. It's like the probe trying to sneak out on the map will be sent home. Let's change the colors here. How about it? Let's go with red Protoss. And a bit of that blue Zerg. Blue Zerg does seem weird. You know, blue is not a color that's found in nature. I've heard that a lot of um, native tribes actually didn't have a word for blue. Because the the basically the word for blue was just sky. Or something like that. Maybe water. Because there is no blue color. There's no blue pigment that you can find in many of these... Uh, in many countries. I know there's like uh, maybe a couple of near blue type flowers, but I don't think that blue is a very easy to find color in nature. And um, so there's not really a lot of blue pigment, not, not until uh, the Industrial Revolution, not until um, some of these new processes did we find out how to make the color blue. As you can see, rocking it here. Doesn't look very natural on the Zerg, I'll say that. Certainly does not. But we'll go with it. It's a lot better than brown, that's for sure. Brown is just so hard to tell. So hard to see. Forgive my tangent there. We're going to grab a Spire here. For Hero. And... Two zealots putting on that pressure. Now, we did make enough lings. This is a little skill check here. A little uh, honesty check from Rain. Making sure that, yeah, you are building. Okay. Enough lings at least to hold off two zealots. He already had, like, six. But had he not made any more, the two zealots can get a little scary. You need, like, four lings per zealot uh, to take a reasonable fight. And here, he almost loses this one this battle here with another zealot coming in this can actually get really out of control here he's just gonna pull away the drones that are damaged 
Very difficult to do this, honestly. And to do it without losing a drone is near impossible. And looks, he does lose a drone. Even Hero, the great and powerful Hero, not able to make this happen without losing a drone. Woo! Zealot slips over top of that mineral patch. And now he is safe, at least for the moment. 35 of 35, I think we made a mistake here. Yeah, this is not good. We have plenty of larva waiting. In the chaos of that last back and forth, it looks like we did eat a pretty big supply block here. So we're going to throw down extra hatches. And we actually need more overlords than this. This is not good. Um, it looks like we weren't able to produce because of that overlord supply. Looks like he actually got a kill already. So that's... No, no, he didn't get a kill. The overlord's down here. So yeah, just a straight up error here from Hero, I think. He might be able to catch this. Not the biggest deal in the world. Only losing one overlord is not too bad, but the supply block continues. <laughs> it's a long supply block. Really long. Look at how many overlords are in production here. Four overlords. Not really the time you want to be building four overlords at. You'd much rather be throwing down a ton of drones. You know, getting up to that 40 number as quickly as possible, but we're making do with what we've got right now. Hero going to pump out a few mutas before he switches back into drone production. We'll see if he drops any sunken colonies as well. Ooh, some great play here from Rain. Just barely able to dodge and weave around those two Scourge and it keep it alive. Look at this. This is interesting. Putting the Stargate in the natural. I've never really seen this before, but you know what? It kind of makes sense. It's faster to get the, the Corsair across the map. And you've already got a cannon here to defend uh, in case Scourge are there. That, uh, that's interesting. I never really thought about players putting that there. But um, that's, that's kind of cool, actually. I wonder if that'll catch on sometime in the future. Got a Dark Templar here coming into the natural. Oh, sorry, the third. Four kills already five kills dude we're we are seeing that uh that heavy rain i was talking about this man is doing very very well against hero not what i expected casted a series earlier against uh with hero against snow and Hero was looking really strong in that series but here hmm i feel like rain is in such a good spot now with that many drone kills and the supply blocks that he forced out. He's going to be able to take a third base pretty easily. We'll see how many gateways he adds on before he tries to make that happen. That's a lot of scourge. But as long as he doesn't allow them to connect. Just makes a, a run for it. Six mutas is not going to win the, the day against these two cannons here. I don't think. These scourge are really kind of defensive units right now. When the Corsairs do finally come out. We will try to connect with them. Oh, getting a couple of connections. But for the most part, the Corsair is staying alive. Oh, he did go double Stargate. Oh, I see. Double Stargate there. I was wondering why there's so many, actually. That's a lot of Corsairs here. I'm going to start to lose Overlords. This can happen sometimes. You've just got your Mutas in like a control group or something. Just send them in. Um, along with all the other units that you have. Ooh, I think he lost another Corsa there, but he's going to be able to grab a ton of Overlord kills right now. Dude, so many Overlords going down. Ouch. That popping sound hurts my soul, man. So painful. Six Corsairs still remaining, and we're going to have to make so many over seven Overlords in production. That's 700 minerals. It's not going to be used for other things. Drones, hydras, lings, uh, hatcheries are going to have to be postponed here in favor of just remaking all of these overlords. Finally, we do have some open supply, so we will start to make something. But again, more supply is needed. And finally, going to get pneumatized carapace. Is that what it's called? Yes. Carapace doesn't really make sense, but... That allows the overlords to float a little bit faster. 
so that they can stay alive a little bit easier against these Corsairs. But here comes more Scourge. Gonna try again with the Scourge here. Oh my god. Scourge. Never able to connect here. It's so hard to get the Scourge to split and surround. But you really do have to do it. You have to try. Sending the Scourge in like that is just a recipe for disaster. Now we have managed to re-drone here up to 49. Which is a good healthy number here for a 3 base Zerg player. He's going to be able to pump out a lot of Hydras and eventually get into that Lurker upgrade. One probe going to head out here. Now how many Templar do we have? Only four. And they don't have a lot of energy. But they've got at least like one to two storms on each of them. Which means that you're not going to be able to break this. I'd much rather see him come and, and check around for some bases here. Because there's going to be a, a hidden base, I think, over at the center right. And he kind of missed the opportunity to snipe that probe there. Now, as this army moves out, this is the moment for Hero when he wants to start to snipe some units. Nice two snipes on those two dragoons. The real prize here, though, is these Templar. Because we went for the double Stargate Corsair... As rain, we are going to have a lack of Templar. And any snipes on those, they're going to make this army much, much, much weaker. So, he's going to be looking for those snipes. He's rotating around here. Maybe kill off this probe. If he gets the chance, this is Vermeer. Big, big map with a lot of open space. Uh, a lot of bases to take as well. Very difficult to make sure that no bases are being taken here as the Zerg. Trust me, I know. There's so many different locations to take, and a hidden base is almost an inevitability. Oh, no. Ooh, that hurts. Well, he catches a Corsair, but losing about five, six Hydralisks because of a missed hockey there, it seems. Going to be adding even more drones right now. Holy cow. We're going 53 drones here. I think he's going to try and take this base now. Four base. Uh, Zerg player. The Corsairs are going to come in and be an annoyance one more time. I don't know how many Scourge we have to actually combat this. It doesn't seem like much. But a few Lurkers here at the front. The first round of Lurkers is the absolute most important. You have to... Make sure not to eat big storms with these, or you could just lose the game. Oh boy, he is super stacked up right now. But as things start to push forward here, the Zealots will eat a lot of this Lurker Spine damage. However, oh man, this could be really bad. Ooh, okay, he pulls back. I was really afraid we were going to see a storm on all these Lurkers right here. But Rain does fall away from this position. And it seems that we will have... A further game here it seems like we will continue on with development going forward no sign of a Queen's nest right now but we will send drones down to saturate this fourth base and it seems that rain is looking towards a fourth of his own do need to get the four you need to be a, a, at least a base ahead here as a Zerg player but He's making a very strong move along the left-hand side here. Going to go ahead. Burrow everything down. You need to have overlords with this. Sniping the observers is of the utmost importance. Damn, that was a great storm there. And a lot of reinforcing hydras. A lot of time you're paying attention to the, the main body of the force. And it, something like a peripheral storm like this could absolutely ruin your day. Um, everything getting bottlenecked going through that tight little area there and the storms were brutal so how many upgrades do we have so far plus one is done we got one one here for the protoss player we're gonna run back up quickly try to retake this uh high ground no he backs away hero not able to hold the high ground here which is kind of a key location uh if you can keep your lurkers on that ramp it's a lot more difficult to break through but uh you know pushing towards this natural is much, much better for the Protoss because you can push in here, take a trade. Uh, a lot of these won't be hotkeyed as well. So harder to dodge. Um, hot, harder to dodge those storms. And then if you want, you can rotate. You can come along the side here. If there's too much Lurker right around this natural, you can kind of rotate towards that third base. 
Looks like, oh, eating another big storm there. Kind of looks like he juked back into that one, unfortunately. Um, fourth base is coming up now. And, oh, a DT. Ooh, nine kill DT here over at the third. Rain is giving it to Hero right now, shockingly. Um, he's going to come right up in the front. Start to hit this natural, and Hero is looking really, really hurt right now. I don't think he can hold on. We've got a 50 supply advantage, and the storms are coming down here. A really excellent textbook game from Rain. And one of the first games I've seen in a while where two Stargate Corsair actually worked out against Hero. No, I think I feel like Hero in 2024 handles the the two gate or the two Stargate play just about better than anyone. But here, it seemed like Rain just had his number from the get go. It's like some of these samplers are going to get picked off as they're trying to run in. But with that number of dragoons sitting on top of your production, there's nowhere left to go but out of this game. GG is called. Hero taps out and Rain takes this one away oh look at that drawing a little arrow in his main base with his gateways does he even have eight one two three four five six okay he does wasn't expecting to see a second gateway here in the natural the natural gateway is a funny one because it's actually usually placed there so that you can uh warp templar here and bring them immediately over to the cannons in case there was something like a dive in the main um, if you're popping Templar out of here, you're never going to be able to make an Archon because this, as soon as they come out, the Mutas are going to snipe them. But if they're right, the two gateways are right next to the cannons, then the two Templar pop out, they warp into an Archon, and then you can mount a defense. But it seems a little bit funny to place it here when you've already got two Stargate. You're probably not going to get busted with Mutas, but I digress, guys. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.